How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build these shaker style cabinet doors. All right guys, we are continuing to work on this side room here in my shop. And the next step to that is building some cabinets. We will have a full build video showing you how we built these cabinets. And I'll put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. But today we're going to focus on the cabinet doors themselves. Now one of the most popular styles of cabinet doors is these shaker style doors. And if you've never built cabinet doors before, this is going to be a great project to flex those woodworking muscles and maybe learn a few new techniques that you haven't done before. Our door is going to be made up of three main components. You have your rails, which are the horizontal pieces, the styles, which are the vertical pieces, and then your middle panel. So we're going to get in here. I'm going to show you exactly how to build these doors. We're also going to get into the hardware and how to mount the doors. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Now let's get to work. I'm going to be using one by three select pine for my rails and styles. So I'm going to take those over to the miter saw and cut them down to size. My doors are going to overhang the cabinet opening by a half inch all the way around. So I'm going to measure the length and width of my opening and then add an inch to each. Once our rails and styles are cut, we need to cut a groove down one edge of each piece to accept our quarter inch center panel. So I'm going to set the height of my blade to 3 8 of an inch, then I adjust my fence so that the blade is going to be just off of center from the edge of my boards. Then I'm going to run one of my pieces through, cutting a 3 8 inch deep groove along that edge. And then notice to widen that groove, I'm going to flip the piece around and run it through again. And you want to make sure you're not cutting this groove too wide. So you want to adjust your fence a little bit at a time so you can sneak up on that measurement and make sure your quarter inch center panel is going to fit in there nice and snug, but not so tight that you can't slide it into place. Once I've got the table saw dialed in, I'll go ahead and run the rest of our rails and styles through, cutting that groove along one edge of each piece. Now we need to cut that tongue or tenons that's going to fit into that groove on the styles. So I'll put one of my pieces against the blade and I adjust that blade so it's the exact same height as the bottom of our groove. So I'm going to be using the miter gauge for this and we're going to clamp a spacer piece onto the fence so we don't have any binding up. And I'll set the fence so it'll make this cut 3 8 of an inch from the end of our board. Then we very carefully use our miter gauge to push this through the blade. Then you shift your piece over slightly and run it through the blade again and continue this all the way to the end of your piece. Then you flip that board over and do the same thing again. And you'll see what you end up with is this tongue or tenon on the end that's going to fit perfectly into the groove you've already cut in your styles. Once we have this dialed in perfectly, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on both ends of all of our rails. Now I'm going to cut down the quarter inch plywood for our center panels. Once I have all my rails, styles, and center panels cut, I like to go ahead and test fit everything. And that looks good to go, so we're ready to start with assembly. I'm going to start by laying out a couple clamps on the bench top and then put the styles in place. Then I'm going to add a little glue to those tenons on each end of our rails. After I fit that first rail into place, I'm going to go ahead and slide in my center panel. Then the other style. And finally, the top rail. Hey. 
Now you just clamp everything together and wait for it to dry. Once that glue's had time to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a good sanding. Then you're ready to add your finish. Now I'm gonna be staining mine, and I'm gonna start out by applying some pre-stain. I'll let that sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna be using gel stain for this. I found that the combination of pre-stain and gel stain works great for this application. I'm just gonna apply a generous amount of stain all over and then wipe it clean. After giving that stain some time to dry, I'm gonna to top coat everything with a water-based satin polyurethane. And after some light sanding and a couple more coats, I think these look great. All right guys, once you've got your cabinet boxes built, your face frames attached, and your cabinet doors assembled, you're ready for your cabinet hardware. Now I know a lot of people use the European style concealed hinges for overlay doors like this, but for the look that I'm going for, I really like the exposed black hardware here. So the hinges that I'm using are still overlay hinges, meaning that our doors extend out over top of our face frame and they attach on the back side of the door, but they are still gonna be exposed here on the side. So that really just depends on the look that you're going for. If you like the European style hinges, I'm sure we'll do a video on those eventually. And Craig makes a really nice jig for helping attach those. And I'll have a link to that in the description below if you are planning to use that style of hinge. So let's go ahead and get this door hardware on and get these doors attached. First, I'm gonna measure and mark out the location for the holes of my hardware, then use a drilling block to make sure I get these holes nice and straight. I normally like to use the Craig cabinet hardware jig, but the pulls I'm using are extra long and it wouldn't work for this. Now we're ready to install those hinges. So I'm gonna measure and mark four inches from the top and bottom, and then screw these hinges into place. Only thing left to do now is get these mounted to our cabinets. So I'm very careful here to take lots of measurements and make sure I get these doors perfectly centered with my half inch overlap all the way around. I'm also gonna be using an eighth inch spacer block to set the gap between the two doors here. And this is obviously optional, but I'm also adding a magnetic catch here in the center of these two doors. Now our doors are installed and our cabinets are almost complete. All right, guys, that is it for how to build your shaker style cabinet doors. I hope this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, make sure you let us know in the comment section below.
Don't forget guys, this video is part of a whole build series where we're building the lower cabinets, doors, drawers, upper cabinets, and a concrete countertop. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, make sure you go check them out. And as always, I do have links to all the tools we used in this video linked in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.